Hey YouTube, my last Watchmen action figure review for you. And I saved the best to a last. We have the immense Dr. Manhattan. There he is up in the corner there as well. Uh, what a great figure he is. Really, really good figure. Um, now he comes with Stan like all the others. My little girl watching Toy Story. Oh good! Excuse me. And he comes with this stand so he can fly. Or we'll have the you know, effect of flying. And take this off. Apparently Buzz Lightyear can fly as well. Can he? Very good. And there we go, let's go on to articulation with this guy. And then I'll go into some detail. Very good. Thank you. I'll come and have a look in a second. We're doing quite a few reviews this afternoon, so she's probably a bit fed up. Articulation wise, his head does go all the way around. And then you've got a shoulder, which you get the movement to go all the way out, and it goes all the way around. And then there. The hands are stuck in a pose, um, like that, to, to kind of match his uh, thing. Um, there is no articulation in the legs all the way. Oh my god, I just broke it. <laughs> no, I'm just joking, and I'm sure you know that I'm just joking if you've watched any other reviews of him. Um, this is the box. I haven't shown any of the boxes before. They are right, quite nice boxes, though. Um, they're all the same, just with a different picture on the side there. Uh, it's not really, there's no bio here. This is just uh, giving you an idea of what is what Watchmen's about. Apparently, it's a complex, multi layered mystery adventure. Um, open this up. Yeah. His other legs out, and you just pop him on there, and then he's got legs with very little articulation. But you know, then he can stand up, and you can have him stood on the stand like that if you wanted. He's got his knees, and he has got um, the articulation there. He's got burn marks on his bum cheeks. Now, when I first got this. I moved him all the way around there and then I moved this other leg and when I did that it went pick up but it, it just damaged the plastic around here so they should have just made it with no articulation there because he's got he's so muscular <laughs> that's what he looks like that's what happens when you twist it anyway detail wise very nice it looks a lot like the actor a lot like Dr. Manhattan from the film so you've got his little uh, atom there nice white eyes with the, the darkening around the eyes and the eyebrows um, ears look very nice my one really really annoying it's got this little mark here which I can't get off and then the paint or the plastic even got a blemish in the plastic where it's kind of a greeny colour but still I can't see it when it's displayed and they're mainly made for display uh, the muscle tone on this figure as it should be because it is in the film is great and he looks very good uh, all the way around the back the legs the stomach all of it looks very good the legs that he stands on I don't know if it'll pick it up but there's this little loose it, it doesn't fit in there nicely and I think it's mainly because of this bit that's missing there because on floating legs it's a solid piece and it fits in a lot stiffer um, I have him displayed on this with, with like that, floating like that. Let's zoom out for you. Have him displayed like that, and I think he looks really good. Um, and I have him over here at the back, displayed with everybody like that, and it comes out really nicely. So I'm really pleased with them. Like I said, I got all these guys as a set of twenty-eight pound with postage. I'm going to put a link up to the shop on eBay where I got these from. So if anybody wants to try and see if they can get them as a set again, you can do that. But um, yeah, thank you very much for watching. Check out my other videos. Check out the link. Thank you very much, YouTube, and goodbye.